Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So today I have a smaller haul. This was a Walmart online pickup order. There's some things that I did need and then some things that I just wanted for the pantry. So let me just start right over here. I did pick up two rolls of the Bounty Selectasize. Um, I typically like to get them at Target because you know Target's always running, you know, buy two, get a five or $10 gift card, which they are, but I needed some. Um, some bounty napkins. I've hauled those before. I did pick up two of the Oh Snap Hottie Bites. I love these. I love these. Um, once I get down to my last one in the fridge, I like to order a couple more. So that's what that is. Some Kerrygold unsalted butter. I got a pound of jalapenos because I've got a lot going on, a lot of cooking this weekend. Um, I picked these up for Bella. She loves these and we get a bunch of them and we just like shoot them across the yard and she goes nuts over them. Um, I picked up some chorizo because I just, I love chorizo and I didn't have any. I picked up some sharp cheddar cheese because I do have um, some lunch meat that I had bought my husband from Trader Joe's and I neglected to get him some cheese so we needed cheese. Um, I got the Velastic Zesty Dill Spears. I like to use these when I'm making potato salad, and I'm making potato salad this weekend. And I also just like to have them in the house. Um, these roll gold whole peeled tomatoes, I like to have them in the pantry. Because typically I'll make a salsa out of this um, if I don't have a lot of fresh tomatoes and I'll be making a lot of salsa this weekend so I picked up two and the great thing is they're only a dollar um, I picked up some Duke's mayonnaise because they don't add in the sugar it still has soybean oil but this is going to be for potato salad so it's not going to be like a keto one I'm thinking of making a keto version I haven't decided yet um, if I do I will film it I promise um, I picked up two sugar-free jellos these are very dirty keto um, I'm making a dessert for Mother's Day for this I'm trying to make more desserts to see if my mom would like them my mom's not keto but I would love for her to eat less sugar um, I picked up some gelatin for the recipe and then I did pick up three of these two of the blackberry and then I had requested strawberry lemonade but they substituted it for strawberry watermelon melon i like to keep these in the house just for when i have company over since i no longer offer any kind of a pop or a soda um, i keep those and then these i like um i tried the clementine that was so delicious you guys i tried the clementine it was so good i highly recommend i went and bought two more so i got two in the fridge um, but i wanted to try other flavors now i used to drink these about Four years ago and I don't remember them tasting as good honestly um, I got the strawberry lemonade and then I also got the mango so we'll see how that tastes now the rest of the items there's only four items are non keto if you're not about the non keto food you can skip past you if it triggers you whatever um, <laughs> There's potatoes. Like I said, I was going to be making some homemade potato salad. I got some bread for the non-keto people, some OJ for the house, some waffle cup fries to go with a, a side with like burgers, and then these Ritz crackers. I like to keep them in the pantry for um, like my little nieces or whoever wants like a little snack. But that is it for this little haul. I'm sure I'll have another one for you soon. Hey friends, so like I just mentioned i was going to have a couple of or a few hauls this week grocery hauls because i have different stores to go to so this is another walmart one every time i do walmart know that it's online um i really don't like going into walmart it's crazy but i did pick up some or i did order some onions um these just are a pantry staple for me so these are just going in the pantry i am making a keto uh, a keto version of the strawberry pretzel salad for Mother's Day um, and believe it or not I don't know what happened to my baking dish so I just ordered this inexpensive one I think it was like seven dollars um, so I got that this the, 
pecan halves. That's what I'm going to be using in place of the pretzels. I will be doing a cook with me on that. Um, it's so good. I love strawberry pretzel salad. It's so good. I think it's perfect for Mother's Day, you know, to add to your sweet table. Also for picnics, summer's coming. It's just something very low carb, um, keto friendly, tasty that you can take. I also got some crema, Mexican sour cream. I'm going to be making a Mexican coleslaw. Coleslaw. I also got some heavy whipping cream. I got this giant size one because I'm making another keto dessert for Mother's Day. I'm making a coconut cream pie, which I'll be doing a cook with me on that as well. Because again, it's great to take to picnics and family parties this summer. So, and who doesn't love coconut cream? Um, I did pick up some hot dogs because I wasn't sure if I was gonna get to the store that sells the all natural grass fed ones. The Teton. Um, but I mean, if you're in Chicago, you know Vienna's the dog to get. Um, for the non keto people, I did get some hot dog buns. They substituted them. I like to get the ones with the sesame seed or poppy seeds, but they substituted it. And then um, some hamburger buns. We're grilling hamburgers and hot dogs today, so that's what that's for. And then I did get some strawberry extract and then some coconut extract. I need some of this for the coconut cream pie. And then I might add this depending, I might add this to the strawberry pretzel salad. But that is it for this quick little haul. Hey friends, so welcome back to the channel. So I am doing something, I'm bringing you a nice little treat. Um, I actually went to a Mexican market today. For Mother's Day we're doing like a big Mexican fiesta. So I wanted to go and get like my meat and stuff from there. So let me go ahead and show you everything here is 100% keto even though it's mexican food it's 100 percent keto so let me go ahead and start over here we have 10 pounds this is seven pounds and this is three pounds of it's skirt steak yeah three three and a half pounds of skirt steak this one is cut a little bit thicker because i like it like a steak and then this one they open it up and it's thinner and this is Sorry guys, this is seven pounds of meat. So a little bit over 10 pounds. So that'll be nice. I'm gonna go ahead and spice it up and everything like the day before, which is today actually. Um, that way it's ready for the grill. And then I also got these. I love these you guys. These are beef short ribs. I've got seven oh just a little bit over three and a half pounds and what they do is they slice them really thin like it's i think it's a two pounder and then they go in and slice them up really thin for the grill you see that i love these guys oh my gosh i absolutely love them Here, let's see it a little bit better but same thing i'll spice them up these are amazing on the grill i freaking love them um, I did buy some pre-made salsas. Their salsas are really good, actually. I got a taqueria one, so like, you know, for like street style um, tacos, and then a molcajete salsa. They're both really good. Of course, I'll still probably make my own homemade salsa, but this is, I think, for dinner tonight. We were gonna grill like just hamburgers and hot dogs, but it's raining, of course. So I ended up getting some barbacoa. So two pounds of barbacoa. And then I got this, this is really good as well. It's chicharron in salsa. It's uh, pork rinds cooked in green salsa, so that's really yummy. Um, and then I also got some nice, good, fresh chicharrones, like the good ones. I like this with some lime, oh, and some salsita, so good. I also got three packages of the nopales. Nopales are really, really good for you. They're good for you. So um, you can make them with eggs. I like to make like a nopales, like a pico de gallo with nopales. So I'll be making that. I got three bunches of cilantro because who doesn't want cilantro in their life? These mini peppers. I did just, you saw in my Walmart order that I just ordered or 
bought a pound, but I just got a few more just to be on the safe side. I got the big value size of a queso fresco. I love queso fresco on my tacos. Um, and even with my, like with my barbacoa, I'm going to make some low carb tacos for dinner with it. with that tonight and then i had never tried this branded cheese but they had samples of it and it was so good and they were on sale two for five so i got two of those and then i did pick these up for convenience because i like peppers with the skirt steak on the grill um but the convenience price is amazing 2.98 for this come on guys i think that's worth it. it's worth my time for sure i love these onions as well on the grill with the skirt steak absolutely love them it's Four of these were like two bucks. Unbelievable. I got 20 limes. Um, I got some serranos here. Those are like one of my favorites. I do have some avocados to make guacamole, but uh, I just want to make sure. I always like to make sure I have enough for everybody and then, you know, rather than not have enough. So I bought two that are pretty much will be ready to go. And then these will just be for me for the week. Look how huge these are. And then we did stop at my, it's like a neighbor. It's a ranch that lives right down the street. It's a farm. It's a farm and a horse ranch. They have horses. They have chickens out there. They were out there when I left the house. They were out there just grazing on the pasture. Um, and on the way back home, we stopped. You go in there and, you know, you just pick what you want. And they have like a little safe box in there. Put your money in there. So we got medium brownies. Now these are fresh from the farm. And large brownies. Again, fresh from the farm. So super excited for these. Super excited. I have to make it a point to get my eggs from there. I mean, because they're, they're going to be better than Vital Farms. I mean, I see them with my own eyes way much better so anyway um yeah so this is a quick little haul here uh, again it's gonna be like a mexican fiesta and we needed to get some things from the mexican store so anyways Hi. guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys all had a wonderful mother's day and i will talk to you soon